Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a weekend prep with me. I'm going to take you along while I prep on Sunday for the work week ahead. I'm going to be making some dinner meals ahead, some lunch ideas, and then also um, just prepping some ingredients. Hey guys, so I'm just starting off by washing some strawberries and then I'm going to be cutting them a little bit later in the video. And next I'm just going to start chopping up some sweet potatoes. I'm going to be roasting these with some Brussels sprouts and broccoli to have uh, for lunch for the work week. So I'm just getting these chopped up and then you'll see in a second here I'm going to be adding this onto a baking sheet and roasting them in the oven. And yes, I'm still in my robe doing this entire meal prep. This is like at eight or nine in the morning. I just wanted to get this out of the way so that for the rest of the day, we could just kind of enjoy ourselves and not have to worry about prepping things for the week. And if you're new here, welcome. My name's Nicole. Um, I'm a working mom of two and I share my love for cooking and trying out new recipes as well as how I organize my family um, because I am a mom that works full time outside of the home. I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe down below and please let me know what other videos you'd like to see. And I like to start off with the sweet potatoes and the Brussels sprouts first in the oven just because they take a little bit longer than the broccoli does. And I'm just keeping this really simple, just adding a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then tossing that all around. And I put this in the oven at 425 degrees. And next I'm just getting my broccoli prepped. I'm gonna be adding that into um, the oven later on the same sheet pan. So I'm just chopping up the broccoli and I'm using this up just because I had it left over in my fridge. Um, but you could really roast any kind of vegetables you want. Know what I got, know what I want. Boy, don't get me wrong. So we're having fun. So I was really excited to try out these storage containers. Um, I got the idea from Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beastons. These containers are popular on her channel. They're from Amazon. They're just containers that have like a venting system and then um, different dividers so that you can cut up the fruit and they stay a little bit fresher in the fridge. So this is my first time using them and I will say that they did help out a lot. It helps to have the fruit already cut and washed ready to get out for the kids or even for myself. And we went through fruit a lot quicker this week, I think, because we had this. So I'm just chopping these strawberries up and I already had some cherries in here um, from earlier. So those vegetables have been in the oven for maybe about like 15 minutes. So I'm just taking them out and giving them a little bit of a stir. And then I'm going to add the broccoli on top and add that back into the oven. Trying to tell you what to do, how to make me fall for you. You should learn that on your own. I'll play cool. 
And next I'm gonna be moving on to a make ahead meal that we're gonna have on Monday night. I'm gonna be making taco stuffed peppers. This is a very easy recipe and it holds up well if you assemble everything the night before and then you just have to pop it in the oven the night that you wanna have this dinner. So I'm starting off by chopping up one red onion. I'm just really using half of the onion and then I'm gonna add that into a cast iron skillet and let them cook down a little bit. So while that's working, I'm just gonna be chopping up my red peppers. You can use any kind of peppers you want. I just find that red peppers are a little bit sweeter and my family likes them a little bit better. So I'm just washing them and I know like the traditional stuffed pepper recipe, you would cut the top off, but I find that cutting it long ways, it helps cook the pepper a little bit more and the moisture doesn't stick in the bottom of the pepper. Um, so here the onions have a little bit of brown to them and I'm just adding one package of ground turkey um, again you could use ground beef you could substitute really um, any kind of meat that you prefer um, i'm just giving this a stir up and i'm going to let the turkey uh, brown a little bit And this is gonna be a little bit all over the place, but I'm doing this in real time. So the vegetables are ready, so I'm taking them out of the oven. Now I'm gonna be adding in some taco seasoning into the ground turkey, and I'm gonna mix that up and let it continue to cook. And I'm sorry I didn't catch this next part on video. I'm still learning how to film everything while I'm cooking, but I just added in some frozen corn and one can of black beans. And now I'm adding in a little bit of salsa in and that's gonna kind of uh, mix everything together. But do they really don't us? Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close to and so this is what it looks like. And then from here, I'm gonna just turn the heat off and I'm gonna let this cool a little bit before stuffing the peppers. My filling has cooled a little bit, so now I'm just gonna be stuffing these peppers one by one. Um, and because I cut them long ways, they do kind of like topple over a little bit, but um, it still tastes fine in the end. So I'm just gonna be stuffing these and then topping with cheese. And I'm just topping this off with a Mexican blend cheese, but you could use any cheese you prefer. And then I'll just wrap this up with some aluminum foil and put it in the fridge for when I'm ready to cook it. And I do cook this with the foil on for about half the time and then take the foil off and cook it for the rest of the time so the cheese can melt. So this is dinner for the next um, day after I'm filming this. So this is all ready. I'll just, all I have to do is just put this in the oven. Next, I'm making some honey sriracha glazed meatballs to have for lunches throughout the week. I'm doing this as a meal prep um, so that we have it ready in the fridge. And I'll leave the recipe in the description down below. But right now, I'm just making the meatballs. So it's just going to be some ground turkey, breadcrumbs, two eggs, and then some green onions, garlic, powder, salt, and pepper. Have those roasted vegetables cooled off enough that I put them in a container and I have them in the fridge there. So now I'm starting to assemble my meatballs and I'm making them on the smaller side just so they're a little bit easier to handle um, in like a lunchbox. So I'm just gonna be scooping them out with a tablespoon and forming them into little balls. Say
in the oven at 375 degrees. And now I'm gonna be working on the sauce for the meatballs. And like I said, I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description down below, but I'm just adding sriracha, soy sauce, rice vinegar, honey, grated ginger, garlic, and toasted sesame to a saucepan. And I'm just going to be whisking that together continuously um, so that it can heat up and simmer for a few minutes. And here we are taking the meatballs out of the oven and I'm just topping them with that sauce that we made. Next time I think I would double the sauce portion of the recipe just because it wasn't quite enough to give the meatballs a full coating. It still tastes good and you can still taste the, you know, the seasoning like in the sauce and everything, but I would have just liked a little bit more. So here are the meatballs fully tossed in the sauce. I'm gonna put this in the fridge for lunches this week. Next, I'm making some pizza dough that I'm going to be um, using for some homemade pizzas on this day that I'm filming this. So I'm just prepping the pizza dough so that it can rise for a few hours before dinner time. This recipe is from Half Baked Harvest Super Simple Cookbook. It's a no need pizza dough recipe and I really like the way it came out. Um, so all it is is just three cups of flour, two teaspoons of instant yeast, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one beer and one tablespoon of olive oil and then it just all gets mixed together and um, left to sit out for one to two hours. Oh, baby, I love you. Yeah. Why you gonna leave when I need you? 
And here's just a shot of the pizza that I made this night. Um, like I said, the pizza dough came out really good. Um, so thanks so much for hanging with me through this weekend's um, prep. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below and please subscribe for more videos. And until next time, bye guys. Without you, no, I don't